Hey Valuable Family! My name is Isabella. I'm the owner of two six-figure online businesses and today I'm going to be telling you guys the top three reasons why I think online businesses fail. So you probably clicked on this video because you are afraid of starting a business and it failing. You guys know there's an extremely high statistic for businesses failing and this is something that people love to point out when you tell them that you're first starting your first online business. Some studies show that 90% of online businesses fail. This statistic is probably so high because it's so easy nowadays to open your online store in the matter of two hours. In order to avoid this happening to you, it's important to know these reasons of why they fail so you can avoid them at all costs possible. One big reason why online businesses fail is because people put way too much money into the business initially when first starting. You guys know that I teach on my channel how you can start a business with zero dollars. I started my first e-commerce business with one hundred dollars that I started about a year ago today and it has turned into a six-figure business without me purchasing ads and without me paying upfront costs that are just not necessary. Most of the people that teach drop shipping or teach how to build your online e-commerce store on YouTube always tell you to Shopify, which you guys know I tell you not to use as a beginner. It's so unnecessary. You guys know I have a completely different approach. I have a whole entire step-by-step -step playlist on my YouTube channel for you guys to follow if you're wanting to start a new business for very, very low startup costs like I did. So I'll leave the link to that playlist up here. So I started my e-commerce business with $100 and I personally like to buy things in bulk and resell them and ship them myself because I do like to have control over my products but if you're someone that you want to start off with drop shipping that is something that you can start also with zero dollars I also have a video about on my YouTube channel for you guys can go and check out and you can easily find these videos on my YouTube channel but I definitely think one big reason why these online businesses fail is because people are dumping money into these stores before they even start making income. A lot of people on YouTube teach that you should make a Shopify store and then purchase Facebook ads, which I 100% disagree. I have never purchased an ad in my life and my business has turned into a six-figure earning business in less than a year just by me posting my own videos on TikTok. There are so many ways that you can promote it. You just have to like kind of learn how to make create videos and I don't even show my face. I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, you're just some young girl, but I hardly even show my face in any of my businesses videos you're free to go check that out if you're interested essentially what I think happens is people dig themselves into a financial hole before they even get started and then they f are starting to feel hopeless when they don't see a result right away instead of easing their way into the business and knowing that they don't have much to lose because they invested such a small portion from the beginning the only thing that they're really committing is their time so essentially it's not something that as it's as scary like you just dumped two thousand dollars into a project and now you're waiting to see the results and then you wind up giving up because you get scared because you already invested so much money. That is why I think my method that no one else talks about is so strong because it really does ease you into business without you feeling like you're going to lose any money. So my thing is if you want to start making money online, don't pay for courses, don't pay for ads, don't pay for mentorships, don't pay for a website. There's so many ways that you guys can start for free which I talk about on my YouTube channel and have step-by-step -step tutorials literally walking you guys through it. So reason number two why I think online businesses have a huge fail rate is because people give up too easily and they do not believe in themselves. I did not have any sales for at least two months when I first started my first business and you guys know I put $100 in my business so I was still a little like sad when I didn't see myself getting any sales. I got super disappointed when I wasn't getting sales at first. I was scared. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. But you guys know that I started selling lashes. So then from lashes, I went on to sell like bundles with the lashes and lip gloss. So like then now I'm selling something completely different. So you can't be afraid to just like try different products and you'll wind up selling them. But then if you want to shift to different products and try different products, that is a great way of doing it. If you want to just jump in, don't feel like it's going to be your end all be all. If you pick one product, like that's the end, you can't change it. Cause that's simply not true. I completely changed my niche, but that is why it's so important to have a business name that you can kind of change around because baddie fool, I feel like goes with so many different niches, which is why I chose that name because I knew I was super indecisive and and I knew that I may have wanted to change the product in the future. But the thing is, is you won't have as much pressure on yourself if you're starting with a low budget because you know that you didn't spend that much money getting into it. It's really just your time and I think people give up way too easily if they don't see profits right away. I just remember when I almost gave up and now I'm sitting here literally talking to you guys right now and teaching it to you guys, which I find crazy because I literally like, you could ask my best friend, I told her, I was like, girl, I don't think this is gonna work out. Like I even posted on Facebook and I wanted to know like people's opinion. Like I posted in a makeup group because at the time I was on like little makeup bundles with like lashes, um, lip gloss and stuff. 
and I posted like a picture of what I was selling to the Facebook group and they dragged me like I was like oh my gosh this is such a bad idea like I don't know why I'm doing this but I still had hope and that hope is what drove me to continue just trying my best and it wound up tr leading me to other routes and now I have a very solid niche which people love that's easy to promote. So even if your first idea doesn't go as planned, you can always switch it up and find another idea and that might be the one that takes off. But the point of this one is just the fact that don't give up even if you do not see results right away. Reason number three of why I think businesses fail is that there is a lack of business identity. Someone is not sure what questions to ask themselves when they are wanting to start an online business. I found five questions that I think are extremely useful and I'm going to read them to you right now and these are the questions that you need to ask yourself before starting your online business. So the first question is what am I offering? Why is it desirable to the customer? Who is my customer? You have to know who you're targeting this product to in order to promote it successfully. How can this product benefit my customer? For example, it doesn't have to be so deep to where like you're solving a problem in life. Like for example, I sell just like cute stuff, like cute boba accessories and things like this. So like to answer that question, how does this benefit them? It makes them happy. So it can be as simple as that. It doesn't have to be so deep to where, oh, it solves our life problem. It solves like you don't have to solve, you don't have to solve a problem. I think that's another thing that like a rumor that got started with a lot of gurus on YouTube is they talk about, um, find a product that solves a problem, which is a smart idea, of course, but it doesn't have to be that for sure. Because that definitely, I feel like creates a lot of barriers for me because I'm trying to think all these things when it's really just not that deep. Just find a product that sells. And then number five, what are my long-term goals? So you have to set goals for yourself in order to make things happen. You can't go into something just knowing like, okay, whatever happens, happens. You do need to set a goal or to have some idea of what you want in order for you to work for that and in order for your motivation to stay strong. So I think another huge thing that people don't do enough or they don't put enough emphasis on is their social media presence with their business. Business. The social media presence should be the number one thing you're thinking of when you're starting a business. If you guys have watched my other videos, you guys know how important it is to have social media presence and you guys should be even be thinking like, okay, would this product go viral on TikTok? If I promote this in this way, will this go viral? That's what you guys should be thinking when picking a product and when starting a new business is you have to think of it like that because we live in a time where social media is literally the control of our society. So you have to capitalize on that if you want to have a successful business. There is nothing wrong with fear as fear can actually drive you to do better. But don't let that fear hold you back. Embrace that fear so you can go after something that you are getting inspired to do. Another huge reason why I do think online businesses fail is because people pick a product or a niche that does not relate to them personally. For example, I see a lot of people that go into the pet niche and they don't even have a dog or cat or pet to even represent or feel passionate about being in this niche. And if you're the type of person that you do want to start off drop shipping, look for items in your house that you use every day and you could be so surprised that you could be drop shipping that exact item to where then you don't even have to buy the product for a sample. But you know how to use it, it's something you use in your everyday life, so you know how passionate and you know that why you like it, so then that can help you psychology wise when making your content for other people because you know what you like. Even though I don't don't personally purchase boba accessories I can still emphasize with my audience and see what appeals to them and just this is all just by trial and error as well if a video does not go viral for you then you know then that video is not something that you would create again it just means you have to switch something up in order to make that video better the next time you have to remember that it's never failure always a lesson so even if something doesn't work out this is your lesson to learn with and grow from if you have this mindset throughout life and in business I promise you will seek amazing things happen. Whatever comes out of your mouth is what's going to happen. So if you're constantly someone that's complaining, I'm not getting sales, I'm not getting views, I'm not getting this, you are not going to succeed. I hope this video helped you to identify ways that business can fail so you can avoid that and have a successful long-term business model. As always, give this video a huge thumbs up so I can continue making videos like this for you guys and hit that subscribe button because we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Wishing you guys all the best of luck on all your business ventures. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down in the comment section below. I try to answer every single comment as quickly as I can. I'll see you guys in my next video. Video. Bye everyone!
Till my shadow turns to sun rays And I'm